Lisa, and today I have a highly requested video, and that is all about my Bible journal. A little while back, my husband and I did a video on tips and essentials for Bible study. If you guys wanna check that out, I'll have it linked in the card above and in the description below. But in that video, one of my essentials was Bible journaling. Basically, I just have a little notebook. You can take any notebook you want, and I have a little formula I've come up with for how I take notes. And what I've really found is that this helps me to actually remember what I read that day. It helps me to pick out the points that really stick out to me that I feel like God is trying to speak to me. It also helps me to find the life application in what I'm studying, which is really what we should all be trying to get at when we're studying the word of God is how does this apply to my life and how is this gonna change me to be more like Jesus? I keep my little journal really simple and concise. That way it's easy to do every day if it's something that you would like to do every day. Um, personally, I don't do this every single day, but on the days that I do, again, I am able to recall what I read and what I studied that day and what I felt like God was trying to speak to me, which I think is just such an awesome tool. I know sometimes it's easy when we're reading the word to get a little bit distracted and off focus, and then you can kind of come away reading it being like, wait, what did I even just read? Like, should I read it again? Uh, what was the point of that? So this can help with that. Before I show you how I do my Bible journal, make sure to hit that subscribe button below if you haven't already subscribed to our channel. My husband and I post all different kinds of videos like this, faith-related content. We do vlogs, lifestyle videos, a lot of different stuff. So be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can see our other videos that we post. And if you'd like to stay updated with me throughout the week, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Lisa M. Riggs. Okay, so on to my Bible journal. Again, I recommend a thin journal, but you can really use whatever journal you want. I just like the smaller ones because they're easy to bring to church with me as well um, to carry along with my Bible. Another thing you could use is, for example, I actually have a journaling Bible where I can take notes on the side. So if you have one of these, um, you could do this same format of journaling on the side of your Bible. If you guys are curious about what Bible this is, I'll have it linked below. My favorite Bible ever, by the way. <laughs> so all I do for my Bible journal is first I write the date at the top, just so I know when I read that scripture and what this journal was from. And then I put reading and I say what scripture um, I am reading what passage I'm reading. For example, on this one, this was April 2nd, and I read Mark 1, so Mark chapter 1. So I put that right there. And then next, I have a summary. So this is just like a one to two sentence summary of that whole scripture that you read and really try to make it concise. It does not need to be detailed. It's literally just like, okay, if I can sum up this whole passage I read, if you're doing a paragraph, it's a little bit easier, but on a whole chapter, it can be a little bit tough. Um, but if I had to sum up this whole chapter or however much you read, how could I do that in two to three sentences? And that's what's really gonna help you remember the overall summary and purpose of what you were reading. So for example, on this one, I said, John the Baptist is the fulfillment of prophecy and baptizes Jesus. Jesus is tempted in the wilderness and then begins his ministry of casting out demons, preaching and healing. Kept it really short and concise, even though a lot happens in Mark chapter one. Next, I put a verse that stands out to me. This could just be like a verse that, uh, that I really felt like God was pressing on my heart. It could be a verse that feels convicting, um, just a verse that I would like to memorize. And this particular verse I actually highlighted. I'll use my um, one of my little Bible highlighters. I got this set from the Daily Grace Company. I'm an affiliate with them. So if you guys want to check them out, I'll have a link below. They have like a bunch of really cute Bible study tools and everything. So check that out. But when I highlight a verse, it means that it's something that I actually want to try to memorize. So this particular one I did, and it was Mark 135. It says, in rising, very, in rising very early in the morning, while it was still dark, he departed and went out to a desolate place, and there he prayed. That's talking about Jesus. And that verse just really stood out to me because 
he, Jesus rises up early in the morning before the sun's even up and he goes out and prays and has just this time of communion with the father. And that's just what my desire is. And I want to try to get better at is, you know, waking up early in the morning. Um, maybe for everybody, it's not early in the morning when you do your study time, but just having a daily quiet time with the Lord. Uh, for me, that is best in the morning. That's what I prefer to do. But just having that time to go be with the Lord and pray and be in his word. And it's really it's not just about reading the word and being done for the day, like that it's a check off. It's about actually spending that time with God and, and just being with him. Okay. And then the next section I do is the takeaway. So this is the part, um, where you're going to write kind of your life application part or just what you feel like God was really telling you to take from that scripture. So on this particular one, I said, Jesus woke up early to find a quiet place alone to pray and spend time with his father. How much more do we need to do this if our savior and Lord did this? And then I wrote like a little like one, two, three point on how I can like act out this scripture. So I said, number one, early while, while it was still early and dark. Uh, a quiet place before the chaos and the distractions of the day. Number two, a desolate place alone and shut off. Again, that kind of goes with the first one, but just a quiet place where you're not being distracted. Number three, pray, spend time with God. Um, so those, that's what I took away from that little passage. And the very last thing I do in my journal is a prayer. And this is a very specific prayer about what you read and applying your takeaway to your life. So you're actually like asking God to help you apply that to your life. So for example, this prayer said, Lord, would you help me to live out these principles? Give me the strength and wisdom to always prioritize these. Help me to make time for you to just talk with you and be with you. Amen. So it was just a really, really short prayer again. That is how I do my Bible journal. Again, it's very short concise, easy. It just helps you to remember what you were reading in your word, help you to take something away and help you to pray that what, what you're going to take away so that you can actually do that. And, uh, you know, your life can change a little bit each and every day. For those of you that do better with like an actual visual and like having this already written out for you, I did create a printable. So I'm going to have that linked below on Etsy. It only costs $2. I wanted to make it very inexpensive. Um, so all you do is you purchase it, you have the printable downloaded to your computer and you can print it out whenever you want as much as you need and you can put these little printouts in a binder to collect them all if you want or just have the one um, as an outline for doing in your own journal. So again, that will be linked below for any of you that are interested in that. But I hope you all found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below if you are currently keeping a Bible journal and if you do, what kinds of things do you like to journal about? Is it just kind of freehand every day um, or do you have a structure for what you do? Uh, and if you're new to Bible journaling, tell me what you think if you're going to try this out and how it works for you. I just want to be able to hear your guys' feedback and talk with you in the comments. But I love you all so much and I'll see you in our next video. Life is in a stream The ocean call for you